A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this collective channeling session, I'm going to speak about a message that came in very strongly. And the message is revolving around an emotion, a feeling that though you wanted to take revenge from me, okay, so though you wanted to take revenge from me and you punished me because of that. So the way you wanted to take revenge was punishing me through silent treatment or punishing me by running away or going away, breaking up from me, with me or not picking my calls, whatever, you know, whatever people do during that time. Though you are doing all of that and you're doing it for a long time, you're very consistent about it. But even in doing so, you are constantly thinking about me. You are constantly with me. Now, this message is only for people who are doing inner work, active inner work, because there is always a thin line in obsession, obsessive behavior and real feelings. You know, sometimes people block those people also or they avoid those people also who are very bad. You know, they misbehave. They are very mean, they pull you down, they demoralize you. Here, someone basically tried to... This is a tactic that a lot of people use actually when they want to hurt someone on purpose because they were f first hurt. Okay, so someone got hurt by you first and without understanding the whole situation, maybe it was a deep misunderstanding. Maybe it was their own, you can say, insecurity that created sort of a manifestation of the whole situation. Or it could be someone just telling them other things and making their mind poisoned and negative. Or maybe, you know, there were two types of people around you at that time. One was very positive towards you. One was very negative. The negative one poisoned the mind of this person against you. Even though the positive one tried a lot, but they could not do anything at that time, you know. So many reasons could have been possible. But what I can sense over here is that this person definitely loved you a lot, a lot. Like they could do anything for you. They could do anything for you. In the happy times when you were together, they may have even made some suggestions to you. And I am also sensing one more type of situation here. I am seeing that there is someone is in a relationship. Already it's a toxic relationship. It's a bad relationship. They are trying to get out of this relationship. The toxic one, they've tried it a lot. But that toxic person is also hanging around because not because they love that person, not because they love you. They are hanging around because they don't want you to be happy. And they know that whenever they are around you, you cannot flourish the way you can because they will say negative things to you. They can demotivate you because they want access to you so that you don't grow. They don't want access to you because they love you. They don't, they don't care about those things. They want access to you so that they can ruin your life. Okay. And during such a toxic relationship, maybe in the past you had always liked this person you know, the, the main spotlight is on this person. You like this person. It could even be, it could be anyone who is like totally out of your reach. You could have never imagined that this person is going to ask me out or this person will admit that they love you. So this person was like, he just, he or she appeared in your life at the time when you were in a very toxic situation. So you could not maybe commit to them or you ask them to wait for a while. You ask them, you know what? Give me some time or maybe it was towards the end of a toxic relationship or the relationship was already over. Even this I can sense that the toxic relationship was over, but you were not ready to commit. You were not yet healed. You were very wounded. You were in pain. So you said that this is not the right time for me to commit to anyone because I need to heal myself. I need to work on myself. Maybe it was a long term relationship. Maybe you had too much going on. There was too much on your plate. But you liked this person a lot. You loved this person a lot. And you were very amazed 
and fascinated with how they manifested in your life all of that was there but you just could not commit at that time you were not there at that time let's say it was not even about commitment you just could not be present for this person in your opinion in your life you were already struggling a lot maybe you were going through something you know maybe financial issues were there maybe family support was not there tons of things were happening at that point in time they asked you out or they suggested you something and you were not that confident to even take it you really wanted it you badly wanted that situation to happen at one time but when it happened the timing was not the right timing for you you felt but you thought that you know if this person really loves me they will be there for me however i think something else was in store something else was destined now this person took offense to it they thought that you are rejecting them they did not think that you are in trouble as well or they did not think that you are confused or you are in pain i have given you one example okay because this example came to my mind right now but there could be so many examples like this that when the right person the one you really liked came in your life your life was in such a mess 50% of your life was in mess that at that time you could not be with them and you also felt bad about it you also tried a lot later on maybe to convince them to bring them back to tell them that hey please understand i was not in the right frame of mind i was not in the situation you know to accept your love and accept your companionship or your you know like imagine something is so wrong in your life and at that time someone wants to date you romance with you it just can't happen this person at that time was not spiritually opened this person was not mature enough spiritually maybe materialistically they were doing well maybe it could be a popular person also so you are quite shocked that such a popular person comes to me if not popular in the real sense in the mainstream sense but maybe popular you know like in every place everybody knows about them because they are so good with the work with the business with the money with everything they may be very good looking very attractive so them coming to you them showing interest to you even you may not have imagined it that they would be the ones you know trying to pursue you and i think what i am being shown here is that when they when it was their turn to pursue you they pursued you a lot they pursued you a lot they gave you lot of importance lot of attention you really could sense that this person is crazy for me and then it took you a while to you know figure it all out say 6 months or 7 8 months and when you wrapped everything up you when you fixed everything up when you you know like got out of your toxic messy situation whatever it was now they are not ready to talk to you they are hurt by you they are like unhappy with whatever happened they think that it's personal they took it very personally that's the problem that happened over here maybe they still love you maybe they still like you but maybe some of their friends made fun of them because of you like oh you know this person didn't even look at you twice didn't even turn around for you didn't even you know like stand by you or whatever somebody just poisoned their mind even that is being shown to me that some very egotistical narcissistic person full of poison they also played an important role in ruining the you know feelings they had for you feelings they still have for you even that is being given that they still feel a lot for you if given a chance if you both are alone they will not be able to you know hide their feelings for you they will be for you there for you for sure and they want to flaunt you to the world they always wanted you to uh be flaunted by them to the world like the world should see that they have this gorgeous amazing beautiful kind hearted compassionate person but because of the toxicity they started competing with you they are now pitting themselves against you now that is not the ideal way to go about things but you because you know being you and because you knew the whole situation at your end you tried a lot to convince this person okay maybe you tried to send a message or you maybe wrote a long message putting everything down apologizing they maybe replied with okay whatever or okay fine i accept or maybe i'm i feel the same i am sorry to or whatever but no action was taken by them no 
other step was taken by them maybe they they were around your place or they were in your city also if they were long distance otherwise but they didn't care to connect with you even if you tried maybe in their head they are thinking that you should do it but because of whatever interaction happened between you guys you are like no i don't want to now pursue this person as well now they have taken that also to their heart for some people blocking may not be the thing they may not have even blocked you you could you can see each other's updates or you can even maybe some of you even say hi hello what's up but you know whenever you talk to them heart to heart or whenever you try to strike a real conversation a deep meaningful conversation they don't want to do it they might even just check you out you can see you know who visited your profile and who's checking your status updates you can do all of that you know it's all modern it's all technology based for those who are into it for those who are not into social media for those who are not very active they may be in touch with you even that is being given it could be blocking it could be whatever i am being told that intuitively you know very well that this person is totally with you because sometimes what happens is that when we are trying to take revenge from someone when we are giving silent treatment to another person when we are staying away from that person purposely we are also missing that person a lot and we are constantly thinking about the person because if you are constantly thinking about a person only then you can persist like you can do it for so long you know not talking to someone or rejecting someone for say 2 years 3 years even when you really like that person you really love that person you you know that this person is amazing but because of ego issues because of that past hurt or hatred or whatever they had to experience they want to take revenge they want to get even it could also be possible what i am being shown over here is that this person was really good in everything okay then they fell in love with you when they fell in love with you they knew that you are amazing but later on they started finding out that you are better than them in everything you were challenging them knowingly or unknowingly say they would say something about fruits you would know much more than them and you would probably speak about it in front of others too and those others who were initially impressed by your person or this person they started applauding you and they started giving more credit to you it could also be a case of friends getting stolen so like their friends this person someone's friend someone means here this person this person's friends or whosoever they hung out with they liked they have moved to you or they moved to you in the past during that time frame and this person girl or guy whatever whosoever they were whatever gender they had they did not like it so instead of feeling happy about it instead of being like wow my person is a genius my person is so good that everybody wants to be with my person and instead of enjoying the company of everyone together instead of making it a beautiful you know space where they are with you you are with them they could not basically look at you as a better more knowledgeable more intellectually or spiritually sound person some of them even started testing you like let's see how much this person knows this person is talking a lot about things let me hurt them let me push their buttons if they react this way after pushing the buttons then they are nowhere they are just faking it but it was opposite instead of pushing your buttons their buttons were getting pushed constantly cuz so much is happening around you and other people and them so it's like they want to be crazy for you they want to show the world how much how much i love this person how mad i am for this person but while they are doing that they feel that cuz they have been in a pedestal on a pedestal put by other people like they were the sorted one they were the one everybody wanted everybody is crazy for everybody is going like gaga for this person okay but they meet you and they also want to go gaga for you they want to do all the things you know others have been doing for this person for you but then they see the competition then they see like okay the pitting against each other so i am being told that this person is a nice person very loving sweet they are very conscious of uh, mind and they are very conscious of environment and everything but they need to also surrender to you 
like they need to surrender to your power as they need to surrender to your knowledge and they need to surrender to your skills your intellect your spirituality your love and your compassion and they are not surrendering because you are maybe also not surrendering totally you are not surrendering to source totally you are not surrendering to love you are also making your own efforts maybe sending them a hi or writing something some kind of comments i'm not saying you should not do it but when you know that a person is like not accepting you or not giving you respect then why chase them so you have to stop chasing then you will surrender and you let god decide already so much time has gone by you know in this game cat and mouse game i'm being shown they have been in touch with you some of them because there are two three scenarios here one is where you're totally blocked but the other per person is suffering a lot but their suffering will only convert into something meaningful when you let them be like you should know why is this person i have not misbehaved with this person i have not done anything bad i have apologized i have pursued them i have tried to convince them i have done so many things for them if see seeking forgiveness is a very brave thing to do but forgiving someone is also required no you have been brave you have been courageous you accepted your mistakes you walked up to a person you told a person okay i'm 100% sorry like completely sorry i do regret everything i'm feeling bad about it so i seek for your apology please accept me back they say okay i forgive you but i cannot accept you so it means that even you need to do inner work first of all cuz you were not in a wrong situation you were not doing it purposely you were suffering too at that time for some other reason and you need to heal you had to you know clean up your wounds and put some antiseptic on it take some medicine relax rest you can't just jump into and you're not physically able to do it financially you don't have that much strength emotionally you don't have that much strength and if this person is like let's start a relationship let's do this let's do that it can't be happening like that they may have made some suggestions they may have given you some offers and you not taking those offers is perceived in a very negative way by this person they are perceiving it like this person rejected me they hurt my ego they disrespected me they put me in a bad spot they made fun of me in front of others blah 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 i am such a sought out a sought after man or woman everybody wants me everybody is crazy for me and this person doesn't want me okay fine i'll show them but when you are doing this revenge game you know when you don't forgive someone you play the revenge game you are the one who suffers the most so guilt and revenge both should be avoided you should not feel guilty that this person is not accepting you you've done everything when you've done everything what can you say what can you do you did your best you gave your 100% rest is up to god so you should not feel guilty you should not feel bad about okay i'm not a good person and i'm something is the way they are taking it personally you are also somehow taking it personally what they are doing to you you also don't have to take it personally that's the channeling's message basically okay so you both have to stop taking personally and if they cannot take the first step you take the first step you work on yourself stop taking it personally oh they don't love me or oh, they don't like me or oh, they hate me i'm such a horrible person i am not good enough i am not nice enough forget all of that live your life if somebody else wants to take you out for a date and they seem to be a nice person go out with that person so what you know dating is not always the same thing maybe it's just a date maybe it's a friendly thing or maybe you need to pamper yourself maybe you need to love yourself more you need to forgive that person for not accepting you and not understanding you you also need to do that only then it will be mirrored back to them because they really like you and they really love you that's being shown but maybe they need to go through some bad experience maybe they need to learn a little bit more from life and from other people so that they eventually realize that you are a goddess or a god you are the right person you are a genuine person you are a true person you know and that they can only find out when they learn from people who are actually bad to them because they are thinking you are bad you are bad you are bad you are mean you are this now they need to go through real insult because say uh, for example they say that you insulted them by just being yourself you didn't speak badly about them you were not negative about them you did not disrespect them in front of others they are just competing with you because you are better than them or maybe you gave them a few answers you gave them a some some kind of knowledge check 
some kind of and they took it personally and they started thinking oh this person is insulting me putting me down in front of others but it was their insecurity that was putting them on, down in front of others that they don't know as much as you know but now they need to actually be put down by someone for real so that they can understand what is the difference between a good person a genuine person a loving person and a selfish person okay we are not wishing negative things for them we are just saying that this is how life is whenever you meet someone or you live with someone or you work with someone it can happen in any situation you misunderstand them you humiliate them due to that misunderstanding later on you have a very bad experience or you you know have some experience even if it's not bad maybe it's not a bad experience but it's a different experience a new perspective you realize that you know this other person is not that bad my perspective was bad i was scared i was trying to protect myself maybe i protected too much i overprotected myself and in a bit to overprotect myself i lost my cool and lost my control and lost my boundaries i did certain things and it was not nice okay so for your personal situations you can check out the description box and you can write to me at the sunamoon@gmail.com you can also book yourself into therapy therapies are very intense and they are long lasting they go on for a good number of days weeks months also sometimes that's why the fee structure is in such a way it's not for a single session or for a double session or three session four session actually it's for the whole therapy because whosoever takes therapy with me they are in constant communication with me this is something that no other therapist will provide you you can only talk to them and you can only meet them you can only discuss things with them during the therapy and you know the sessions are always timed 1 hour 1 and a half hours that's it okay so all this i don't do because i know twin flame ascension journey is a very different ball game it's a very niche journey not everybody can fix people or help people in this or even counsel them because most psychiatrists and psychologists they just like to give pills to people and then other twin flame healers and coaches i'm not taking anyone's name they start selling people the romance the romantic dream the 3d union and this and that 3d union is something you should never even think about you should only think about your ascension and your union there is only one union if you have union in 5d you'll have union everywhere else whichever dimension you're in that's because 5d is the center most place and you can go above also you can go higher also 6 7 8 9 sky is the limit and there's so much fun there's so much awesomeness the more inner work you do the more awesome your life becomes the more awesome you become so this is the best thing to do for yourself because you can't take money from here you can't take any materialistic object you can't take a pinch of salt from this planet the only thing you take with you is your inner work is the peace that you have derived from it okay you can also join patreon you can take the membership and all members uh be it hindi speaking or english or bilingual you all get one zoom class which is a group class okay it's not a individual class it's a group class it's a group session because i started i gave this uh, out in the month of june it was end of june so some people only pledged and those who supported me they are basically already in therapy with me at least two of them are already in therapy with me so july is when the pledges convert into actual membership fee so june people were being shown over there but they had not paid for it so if you did not pay for it then please check out and any for anything for anything please write to me at the sunamoon@gmail.com if you are working with me if you are not working with me or you have not booked anything with me and in case you do book something then also there's a disclaimer that do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me please wait till your personal session or till the instructions i provide because even before the session whether you take a personal reading session or you take a therapy there are certain questions you need to answer there's a step by step procedure that i need to follow because we use intuitive tools we use our spiritual methods not uh, the psychiatric methods so we take help from spirit guides we take help from our masters and then we work on the intuitive tools okay in fact your intuition all of your intuition is also working because when your intuition starts working then you start looking for information 
then you need to hear the right thing so that you can also connect with your intuition deeper in a much better way everybody's intuition eventually starts working in the twin flame journey it's only the degree of intuition how much someone has like somebody is on 30% 40% 50 60 okay the higher you go the percentage of your intuitive power is also increases okay so all the links are given below patreon or paypal or whatever and you have all the content other than that all of this content you can use on the uh, on the youtube channel you can also check out my blogs the sunamoon blogs there are some blogs i have written over there if you want to so thank you so much for being here with me uh, one love and peace out and i'll see you soon in another one